welcome to Game Road. Side me, Blake. There you go. I don't know a kazoo. <coughs> hey, what that, was, that was your idea for an intro. You play seven ancient <laughs> army, sit on the wrong side of me, get him up and walk around, and then <laughs> pretend you don't have a kazoo and throw it. Let's, let's play. <laughs> okay, so uh, if you have to drive, choose me first. Yeah, your game is over. Nope, we're doing cat games. <laughs> cat <laughs> games. That may have been our worst intro. You could have gone away pretend we're British gentlemen off camera. Okay. Wait, what, 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 is this, what is this? Okay, uh, apparently I skipped the title screen. This is uh, Meow Last Call Battle of Cat Island or something like that. Okay. Uh, so right, this is a, a Ludum Dare game. Ludum Dare? We've been calling him Ludum Dare this whole time. Because, because... we're stupid. Meow! I'm a cat! I'm uh, gonna go back and forth! Okay, the sticky... Am I out of... I'm out of kittens! I'm out of kittens! I'm out of kittens! I'm out of kittens. Uh, uh, what number was that? Ah, ah, ah! Oh god, okay. People always click on a video if the sub thumbnail has a pussy in it. There you go. Is that why people click on cat videos? Because they're just confused about that's bad what, puns? That's, that's what it is. Well, well, well see, 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 heterosexual ladies click on them because they're like, oh, cats! And then uh, gay ladies click on them and they're like, ooh, pussy. There and like go. men click on them because they're like, I like kittens! <laughs> I hope there's a lady in this with big boobs. Big fat cats! Big, big fat pussy! <laughs> I don't think anybody likes the term big fat pussy. <laughs> there's there's literally one guy who like loves that term big fat pussy and he's like And he's not me, I can guarantee that. Oh god. Uh, I, is... I heard that you were a bit of an asshole. Why well, yes, I'm a bit of an asshole. He's got a southern accent because all bad people have southern accents in my universe. Oh god! Uh, th that was that spawning was not fair, no that... that makes sense. Oh yeah. So, okay. It's, okay, big fat pussy is a bad term, but is the term big fat pussy? Is that bad? For, is that that if, maybe if you, worse? If you say pussy. 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 What's this one do? Pussy. Oh, okay. It's, it's, it's a, a turret? turret? So okay. what? So what is this? Is this like a tower defense? Uh, kind of, but I'm the I'm the I'm the defense. Yeah. I'm the tower. You're the tower. So it's just basically outlive, outlast? Basically. On a pirate ship? Yeah, on a pirate ship where you're a cat with a bazooka. Well, just like just just like some certain ladies I might mention, I can get behind this. And by that I mean... What's I... with your hypersexuality <laughs> right now? It's kind of... Can I get up there? Is that <laughs> it might... There's no hypersexuality. I'm just going to whip up my cotton and start masturbating. Ah! Ah! Where are those cats coming from? Oh, they're boomerang cats. Okay. Oh, they're boomer cats. Yeah, there you go. Catarangs. The... Uh, cat... No, there are no more puns for that one. Ah! Okay, okay, the spawning in this is, is bullshit. There you go, last meow, Battle of Cat Island. Here's the title screen. There's a Facebook and a Twitter and a guy's head on fire. Hey, hey, guys, head on fire. Uh, we're, we're enjoying your game here, but I got, do gotta say, yeah, spawns a bit bullshit. There's spawns a bit bullshit. Unless the spawning's always in the same place. It <laughs> might be just because of where I was standing. I was standing on the spawn point. But I wish that was like moped in some way, like they jumped over. I'm, I'm, you know this game needs more, this Ludum Dare game, which was made in like two days, yeah. needs more polish. <laughs> it actually needs more Polish people because they make great video games. They really do. Various weapons. The, uh, the the motivation of these like soldier dudes is a bit mysterious to me. Yeah. Well, they just. Oh God. I'm, uh, right. I'm just imagining. Uh, they're, uh, they're like, our men. What's the plan? Well, if we walk forward, maybe he's trying to avoid getting petted. Like, maybe that's what. It is. Ah, what the fuck him. just happened? I don't know, but it was good. I think ammo just fell from the sky and landed the, on my the head. Noise is always good. It's always a good. I want to make a game. Well, the sound effects are always the exact opposite of what you'd expect them to be. So, like, you get hit, and it's like, yay! That sounds like a premise with no promise. With no promise? No promise. A premise with no promise. That's it. It's like my bra bar idea. Your bra bar? Yeah. It's just that I like the way the words sound together. And then I <laughs> opened a bar, and nobody showed up. Because I didn't actually have any drinks. 
Now wait a minute, how do they know there's no drinks? They just saw the word bra, and the same people that are in the- Well, I also had big signs saying, there are no drinks, don't come in here, so that probably didn't help things. I like the little fish in the background. I wish I could be his friend. Maybe I'm trying to protect the fish. Maybe these are all fishermen. Ah, get away, you fisherman! You dang dirty fish. You know who I hate, Blake? Day 35 of the sortie. Our men keep falling. One by one, they plunge. This has been, this hasn't been a battle. What? It's been a slaughter. Uh, but we have to get that cat. <laughs> I'm dying! Is landmines? What are they? What this, I like about this game is it's a really potent metaphor for the horrors, horrors of war. Really, no, no, no. See, you never see it coming. And then just suddenly a bunch of guys in green sh shirts show up. And you're just covered in pixely blood. When I go, I, I work at a workplace with a lot of older people. I mean, they're not elderly, but they're older than I am. And they're all interested in my my baby, right? Because it's like, what, what is that? Spawn us! Ha ha ha, and I shouldn't have abandoned that. Okay. Uh, um, uh, but, I, I, uh, but everyone asks me how my kids are doing. And I've had to tell them the truth. I've said, I said, you know what? As far as I know, really well. Um, at least according to the note that we got in the, uh, in the, in the letterbox the other day that was all cut out of, like, different newspapers, it was saying... He said, your kids are fine. fine. Leave us the money. Uh, well, they said, the kids are fine, and then, as long as you... Blah, 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 blah whatever. Skip, whatever, I skip the rest. <laughs> uh, but it's, I'm like, great, they're fine. So, yeah. as far as I know, they're, they're okay. Um, and I know that they're okay because I keep getting these fingers in the mail, and dead people don't have fingers. Yeah, exactly. Not flashy ones. No. I'm not very good at this game, Blake. Well, What's you know, maybe this game isn't very good at you. Maybe. Maybe maybe it's quite the opposite. Maybe it's an actual situation where one thing appears to be the case, but it's actually the other thing. Well, we'll be back here with a more show later on. You guys have enjoyed the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. Oh, 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 oh. I think you jab of the hunt. <laughs> I like to. That would be great just to do like a normal talk show, but like the background laughing guy is like I don't, the jab of the hat works. So I was like some some just like random pop culture figure. You mean like Space Ghost? Yeah, actually, <laughs> basically what I'm pitching is Space Ghost, but less legal. <laughs> so like, well, that this this has been whatever space. game this is. Let's play a different game now. Ah! Yeah, I think I'm in there. Ah, fat cats, fat cats, fuck capitalism. All right, let's go on to the next one. Hey. I, I, oh, what? I don't need to. I don't need to introduce this. I we're playing Cataclysm now. Left and right. Use left and right arrows to move. Press and please enter our facility. Oh, please enter. I'm pressing enter. Okay. Ooh, look at the reflection of the water. Yeah, that that is a pretty simple. Okay. I, I, no, so far this game is my game. X, cats, Z, jump. <laughs> so this is another game where you shoot cats. Z, jump, wait. Oh, you can yeah, cats here, then jump on them. Okay, there you go. More cats, okay. Oh, yeah, right. I can get into this. this right, so it's like a puzzle game, okay. I get it, I get it. All right, all right, all right, all right. This time you will need lots of cats. Just fill the whole thing with cats. Don't worry, they want to help you. <laughs> it's a I question it's that. It's a cat stack. Yay! Well, the ink is expensive. <laughs> My boss wants me to stop putting these messages, even the black ink ones. Whatever, these cats like water, you don't. This seems like bad information for cat owners, personally. Yeah. It's okay, they is, it, this is basically like an anti-cat, like... Propaganda piece. There you go. Everything is a button. Aha, that's fine. That worked just fine. Okay, I don't know if you actually need to teach us the concept of buttons, but thank yeah. you. Uh-oh, it's a boss stage! Oh, boss stage! Boss stage, please get our TPS reports in order! <laughs> Yay, shooting cats! I like drowning cats, actually. It's pretty fun. It is. It's one of my favorite activities. I need to get some cats up in here. There you go. Just get it there. Now I can get this, this climb through the cat. There you go. There should be a score based on how many cats, though. That would be it. Yeah. Oh, there's only 20 cats. Okay. 
Okay, okay, I can get that. I can get you that. You weird little gun is weird. And I don't know how I feel about it. Alright, so I can just go like this and pile them in there. But I then think you're gonna run out of gas. I am gonna, I'm gonna run out of cats, but the but I think the, the principle is that I have to find a button. Yeah, there's a button to the left, you just walk about. Now you live here! <laughs> this is my new home! This sounds actually not bad. I'm like one of those crazy I'm cat a, ladies! I mean, you have food. Wait a minute, is that, a, is, that, there, is that a chest of muscles, or is that like a boo- are those boobs? Am I a crazy cat lady, or am I a crazy cat dude? Does it really matter, Blake? Stop getting caught up in your gender binaries. We're playing a pro game that's programmed using binary. Ah! <laughs> I just clipped the fucking ball. I, I, I really want. Can you just press R and reset? I really want to fall in the water. It's stop, stop climbing on each other. Hey, look! I did it. Oh, Life my. hacks. <laughs> I want to get, I want to push my way through the cats. They should just, they should do a remake of the Matrix. It's called Life Hacks. <laughs> Yay! That cat fell down. That's exactly the cat I needed. Okay. Uh, why do, why do this the correct way? But you can piss all of our viewers off. All. All of them. See, I can tell because all of them are being pissed off right now. Hey, what as I, in all the ones at this current moment. Hey, I wonder if I can... I wonder if I can... Um, what's it called? What's that game called where you're... Press R and restart? No, yeah, I, I love that game. What? It's my favorite game. Let's play it right now. <laughs> <laughs> you made me fail. I'll never love you again. Okay, so I gotta get cats up to that button. Yeah. And there's platforms there for me to get up there. Oops. And then I just have to... Get, oops. Okay. So I have to get enough cats here to get up to the next button. Yeah. And then when you pre when you when you reset your cats, does it does it reset you? It just sucks all the cats back into your gut. That's good. So yeah. you could that's what I'm saying. You can you can Metroid it. You can yeah. Samus air in this shit. Yeah, you can. So like can you like can you jump off of one and then like uh, it's, the timing of that would be very tricky. That's probably why they made it oh, so you can't just do that really quickly. Yeah, maybe in their initial test phase. Yeah, which lasts phase... probably several hours. Yeah, about twenty minutes. All right, men, and they're all all men for some reason. All right, men, we're working on this extremely complicated project. It's a Lutum Dare project. We have the weekend to do it, so we're breaking into thirty-two teams. All right, you are in charge of animating the cats. Yes, our boss. <clears throat> you are in charge of making sure the cats are not racially insensitive. Yes, our massa. <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> You're so fucking racist. <laughs> I realized that I almost did a racist black voice, so I decided just to roll with it. What? And I, I, this is kind of like a, a physics puzzle that's insane. Yeah, and like I kind of lost a little bit of affection for the game because of that puzzle was kind of just brute force. Like there might be more smarter way of doing it, but. Yay! A platform that doesn't quite reach across the, sc the screen. Yes. Oh. Ah, low on ink. Uh -huh. Can't help anymore. Okay, story was done. Uh, that's kind of a clever little j little gag. That is. So I, I, like that. I, I, I like the idea that these cats now live here forever. Yeah. <laughs> Stop scrolling the screen, Blake. Ah, uh, correction. There you go. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Yay! Yay! Slippery. That you can write. There's a plot hole in this game, Blake. Ma ma maybe he didn't write it. Maybe it was already previous previously written. Maybe. But nothing is too slippery for Gun Cat Man. For, for, for Gat Cat Gun. Cat. All right. Cat Gat. All right. Here, here's here's my here's here's your challenge now. All right. Well, uh, you need to pitch this the movie. All right. All right. So. Uh, Aaron, Aaron, and, and real, real executives are watching. What? Oh, Aaron Peckchest is a scientist trapped in a land of water. Luckily, he happened to bring along a secret experiment from the lab that oh, he was look, escaping look, look. from. Lab he was escaping from, because because when he was a child, his cat was run over by a bus, and so he learned the magical art of summoning cats from the other well. No, but seriously, how would you pitch this if you were, if you, if a movie uh, studio I'll, said... I'll, I'll do like a water world kind of deal with a world in, at sea. Uh, is the water a significant portion of... of it's uh, visually of the, the most interesting part of it right now. The cats! Oh, well, the cats are second day, buddy. That's like having plot in the, in the Star Trek I, I'm thinking like a Tarantino-esque... Oops. <laughs> Fat! He's calling me a fag. That's, that's very insensitive. Yeah. Um, uh... 
I'm thinking like it's some sort of like Tarantino-esque, you know, uh, ex exploit cat exploitation. Cat exploitation, but like for the BuzzFeed crowd. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It would could be like a sequel to the Grumpy Cat movie. Yeah, there you go. And, and it, and, oh yeah, that existed, didn't it? Yeah, so it'd be called like Gumpy Cat. G Grumpy Cat Two. Gumpy Cat. Gun. I'm not trying to kill you, so why are you thinking of something like that? Okay. So, like, yeah, yeah, I'm not trying to think of so, like a portally kind of story where you're like, yeah. trap, the guy's trapped in a facility, and all he has is his gun that shoots cats. I don't think that's going to do anything. I think you're just being unnecessarily cruel. Am I? <laughs> that pile of cats saved my life. Haha, <laughs> I get it. Because there's a story. Oh. Okay. Wait, is this actually the end of the game? I mean, Did we beat a game? That's never happened before. <laughs> Aww. I love those cats too. So that was Cataclysm? Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, we didn't capture any of that video. They don't need to know that, Blake. They will notice it after I whip out my penis. <laughs> oh, the penis! They just ripped it right out. <laughs> Okay, not that one. Oh my god, that was really unpleasant. <laughs> Why do we don't turn the cameras on? <laughs> because you're going to do a sexually explicit mime involving ripping my penis off. I was ripping my penis off and then dangling it over my face and licking it. Like a blade of Damocles. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. It's been Whoa. such a long time. Oh my god, it's been hours. So uh, hours, and that's usually actually how we do it. And the fact that it wasn't hours, we're now making a big thing up for some reason. All right, so uh, I should stop sabotaging our conceits, shouldn't I? Yes, you should. But it's too late for that now, and I hate you. Ah. Um. All right, so we took a look at a couple of uh, Ludendare games about uh, cats. About cats. Uh, thank you, Master Drive, for being the one to select that it would be about my favorite musical at all. Phantom of the Opera. No, Cats. Anyway, uh... Jeffrey Katzenberg. So let's, uh, my we have our... favorite Disney CEO. We have our special guest here. Um, hey there, special guest! Hey there! Well, anyway, um, uh, we've got two minutes to convince you which of these two games are the best. All right. Last Meow was actually a lot of fun. Um, it was very basic and not a lot to it, admittedly. Um, there wasn't like a lot of like specially designed stuff, but it was actually just basically what it was is you walked around and just shot. It was a shooter, essentially. But with a cute little gimmick fact, the fact that you're a cat with a pirate with a bazooka strapped to you. All the different weapons reacted sort of in interesting ways. Like I've played these kind of games before and often the weapons are kind of just boring. It's like a shotgun and a minigun and whatever. And they had similar things, but they had interesting ones. Like the one that was like a cloud that spat out little cats and a turret and other things like that. Yeah. That made it very interesting. Um, there was problems with the game, obviously, it needed more polish, but within the 72 hours that it was constructed with, it was actually pretty good. Uh, the graphics were really cute and uh, really fun. Um, they had some pop-in issues and stuff like that and screen shaking, but overall I quite enjoyed it. Um, it had sort of a nice little life and energy to it that uh, it was, was kind live. of refreshing. It was live. It was live. It was yeah, a yeah. Uh, and you know, like, it, it, it was a fun game. Um, I would say though that um, Catastrophe or Cataclysm, Cataclysm um, uh, more typified the strength and, and, and purpose of uh, the Ludum Dare idea. Yeah. The Ludum Dare idea. It's, it really was like an idea that went basically as far as it could, really, without adding different kinds of cats. Ooh, sequel. Um, but it also, uh, it was fun as well, it was colorful, it had um, nice charm to it. Some of the jokes didn't really hit for me, some of them were a little bit typical, like, indie game jokes, like I'd seen that kind of stuff before. But overall, the gameplay was fun, the puzzle challenges worked for the conceit. I would have liked to see a little bit more, but it was a unique idea that you really would never have been able to pitch to somebody as a triple A game. It could only exist in this context. I would have liked to see an actual more concrete ending though. It seemed like you're setting something up that it didn't deliver. Yeah, yeah. But but we've seen so many of the of that kind of game. So the question is Ow <laughs> Which one of the games do you guys think is is best? And you guys out there, if you disagree, send hate mail. Alright. To, to the cats. Meow meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. That one makes a good point. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. Meow 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 meow. 
Meow, 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 game design. Meow, 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 graphical intensity. Meow, 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 simplicity. Meow, 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 intrinsically difficult to decide. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Fascism. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, 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 gray cats are inferior. Cutscenes. I hate these really talky ones. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, most of this will be cut. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Whoa, okay. That's that's kind of neat, I think. Well, to be honest, I don't think it's so much the arguments as the fact that they can probably smell my boots and the amount of cat flesh from my cat stomping That's true, there's a lot less... Despite the fact that it's a game where you shoot... Both games had guns that shot cats. No, I mean, literally, literally, I go out and I find kittens. I, I actually, I go down to the shelter, yeah. I pick them up, and I just stomp them on them until they're So thanks to Pile of Cats for showing up. Check out their YouTube page. Just just check out YouTube. Um, did you agree with the decision the Cat Collective came up with? Or did you think that, you know, they made a mistake? Did we make mistakes in our arguments? Because there's something better that we could have said. Or is there a couple of games you would like to see go head to head? Let us know in the comments section, Twitter, Facebook, email. It's all on there, folks. Unless you're too stupid to click buttons, you, it's pretty obvious. I don't know what's wrong with you people. Just click on something. Just click there, or click there, or click on one of those things. Jesus Christ, do I have to explain everything to you people? It's okay. It's okay, Blake. I'm so angry. It's okay. I'm so angry. It's okay, Blake. It's okay. I'm going to rip off my penis. <laughs>